And so he puts this ad in the paper, come, come to this room on this, such and such a day. The famous preacher, John Alexander Dyer, is going to be there, and he'll lay hands on you, and you'll be healed. And so that morning, this is in San Francisco, that morning there's a line a mile long leading up to his motel. And so they're letting them in there one by one, one by one, one by one. And he, so he's sitting in this, he's sitting in there, they got this little desk in there, and he's sitting in there on a chair, and you walk in the room, you know, you knock on the door, they'd say, knock on the door, and then you knock on the door and come in. You walk in the room, he'd say, is God going to heal you? If you said, no, I don't know, or had some kind of doubt about it, he'd say, okay, thank you, you may leave. And one by one, one by one, one by one, finally somebody walked in the room and he said, is God going to heal you? And he said, yes, sir, he is. He said, come up here. And he laid hands on him and the man was instantly healed. The only man that was healed that day. Now, I don't say that that's the best way to do things, make people wait in line, and then they find out they don't have something. Amen? But, are you getting what I'm saying to you? If the switch is turned on, the power is already there. See, people that won't, the pre, you know, the preacher laid hands on me, he didn't, I didn't get nothing. No, you can't blame it on the preacher. The preacher's like a pipe. You can't blame it on the pipe unless it's clogged. Right? Amen. Are we getting this? God's really wanting to, so to speak, turn on the spigot for I mean. I mean, he's, he's wanting to pour out signs and wonders. You know what signs and wonders are? Signs, signs are things you look at and go, yeah, that's God. And wonders are, wow, I don't know what that was, but it must have been God. You just wonder about it. Like when I reached out for that lady and bang, pow, that was a wonder. How come he did it that way? Who cares? I can answer the question. He did it that way because she was drawn so hard, she's going to get it. That power just jumped out of me. That power is in me all the time. It's not me. It's not me. It's not this. It's the power of God in me. Okay? You have the same power. Yes, you do. The difference between you and me is, generally speaking, I have an audience. You don't. Yeah. But all you got to do is make them stand there long enough to get it to them. And they will. Praise God. Y'all get something today? Y'all messed up my message. <laughs> I, I, I got away from the last part of it all together. I don't even know what happened to it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 